Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Benjamin Chua, Senior Consultant Vascular Surgeon at the Vascular Interventional Center. Today, I would like to share with you on a condition that affects many women, pelvic congestion syndrome. As its name implies, it is a condition in which the veins inside the pelvis, especially the ones that surround the uterus and up to the cervix, are dilated and engorged with blood because it doesn't drain very well. Now, pelvic congestion syndrome is a condition seen commonly in women who have had two or more children, multiple pregnancies, or in women who may have an associate condition called the renal nutcracker syndrome. As a result, veins that drain the pelvis uh, do not function very well, in fact, become dilated and engorged. Now, these veins can also be connected to the lower limb veins, and some women, they may experience uh, lower limb swelling, heaviness and aching as well. But more commonly, patients with pelvic congestion syndrome experience pain and heaviness in the pelvis on prolonged sitting or standing. They experience prolonged and heavy menstrual flow. And in some severe cases, they may experience significant pain or discomfort during coitus. Oftentimes, sufferers of pelvic congestion syndrome have undergone various other investigations such as colonoscopies, gastroscopies, CTs, uh, just to look for alternate sources of pain such as from the gut or from the uterine organs. But in essence, this problem arises from these pelvic veins. Based on the history, we sometimes will require patients to undergo a CT scan to look for these dilated veins or even an MRI of the uterus and the pelvis. Once we diagnose it, then there are several options to treat patients. The most simplest and basic form is to try some medication to cause these veins to constrict. They work in about half of the patients and they get symptomatic relief. But in a significant number, we would then suggest an interventional procedure. And in this procedure, we target these dilated pelvic veins that are causing the pain. What we do is a day surgery procedure under a bit of local anesthetic and sedation. And we insert a catheter or tube uh, through the leg veins and we find our way to these dilated veins and then what we then do is block these veins. By blocking these veins, we uh, use a combination of coils or sometimes a little bit of sclerosin, a chemical that scars these veins. And what we do is we seal off these veins such that there's no backflow into them. And this helps alleviate the symptoms as described earlier. Women who undergo this procedure usually find that they improve significantly in as little as 24 to 48 hours and can return back to their function in daily life pain-free.